So, hello fellow banknote collectors, and today we're looking at some banknotes from the Middle East and also Iran. So the first that we have are from Oman. So if you're not too familiar with Oman, it's in the Arabian Peninsula, south of Saudi Arabia, and you should look it up. The capital is Muscat, and this series is from 1995, so it's 1995 there, but if you want to know, it does have the dates in Arabic numerals, which is a bit funny, because the Arabs don't use these. Uh, and this is called the Sultan Qaboos series, because it has a portrait of Sultan Qaboos being said. This is the lowest denomination, so this is 100 bazaars. And the current exchange is roughly about 250 bazaars equals one Australian dollar. So this is roughly equivalent to 40 cents. And even though this is not used anymore, that would, no, I'd say probably still circulate. No, they'll replace in 2020 with a new banknote series. So this banknote series comes in 200 a half uh, reel, a 5, 10, and 20 reel. So uh, these would actually cost quite a bit. You know, uncirculated, this is probably the lowest you'll get. You're probably talking about 5 to $10. Uh, if you want to get the 20 bazaars, you're probably talking about at least, at least 50 to 100. So not the other banknotes are in between them. And the they do have a watermark which is also the Sultan. So here's the coat of arms of Oman. And here's the defensive, uh, looks like a citadel or something like that. And here we have irrigation canal because uh, Oman's actually quite a dry place. So uh, they need a lot of irrigation. We have a lot of palms there as well. And on the back, we have a Verox Eagle and a white Oryx. So that's the last denomination you're going to actually get in. Oh my, even though these banknotes are probably not in circulation anymore. Okay, the second one I have is the half reel. So this is the same thing with the portrait of uh, Sultan Kabus. And it also has. Bala Fortress, so Fortress City of Bala, and I'm oh sorry, on the other bank note, this one is also a security feature, so it should match up with the uh, printing on the other side. So if it's offset, then it will be an error bank note. And this one, all the serial numbers and the lettering is in Arabic, and also on the other side, we have English. And this is Al Zim Fort and the Nakal Fort. So we've got one fort there, got another one there. And it's got a map of the actual fort there. So one is up here and another one is down below. So that's only a partial map, it's not a full map of uh, Oman. I should actually put a map on one of the banknotes, so it'll be very interesting. And here we have some micro printing. That looks to be in Latin script as well. So this one you probably you not circulate probably at least ten dollars. Uh, has a face value of about uh, forty, yeah, about two dollars fifty roughly. So that's a nice banknote there. And the next banknotes that we have are from Bahrain. So Bahrain started to issue their own dinar system in 1964 and these banknotes are the current series in circulation. First issued in 2006 so they've been in circulation for about uh, 16 years and the half dinars is the lowest you're going to get in change. The lowest coins are 100 fills and this one is as the old court building in Manama, so Manama is the capital of Bahrain. It's quite a beautiful banknote. I quite like this series. And on the back, 
we just have the International Airport uh, with the VIP tower and these ones they have a similar exchange rate with the Armani series so you're talking about probably about 250 feels equals uh, one Australian dollar so this is roughly equivalent to uh, two dollars here so quite a lot of money and Like Oman, the highest banknote is the 20 dinars. So you can also get 1, 5, 10, and 20 dinars. And here we have the 1 dinar banknote. And as you can see, it's quite a nice one. I do like the way they've actually done the 1. So that's very interesting. So if you go to Bahrain, this is the banknote that you will be using. Quite a pretty banknote. And here we have a security feature. It actually has a looks like a flower type uh, security feature there and we also have the printing that should match up on both sides so if that's offset then uh, that should be an error note and as you can see the watermark is the Sultan here we have the Al Hadia Al Khalifia school so it's means uh, yeah, probably Islamic as well as Western architecture that actually looks like especially with the type of windows that you can see there and this one's roughly worth about four dollars and here we have the Sail and Pearl Monument in Manama and we have some horses that were pretty big in horse breeding uh, in the Middle East and here we have the security feature so segmented security thread is there any other security thread no so that's quite a nice banknote uh, so these banknotes do get expensive four dollars for one dinner uh, so we're probably talking about ten dollars to fifteen in uncirculated condition and the next series we have is from uh Qatar so or Qatar or whatever People call it the Qatar Central Bank. Uh, they first issued their own banknotes in 1973. Before that, they were issued under Qatar and Dubai. So, this is from the 2008 series. These were replaced in 2020 with a new series, which is actually quite spectacular. And it's roughly about uh, three rules equals one US dollar. So, this is roughly about. Uh, 30 cents give or take depending on the exchange rate so here we have the coat of arms of Qatar few nice patterns so this is all architectural features probably taken from buildings oh uh, yeah here's a colonnade and here's probably a doorway and here we have a looks like a doe and a palm so this should still be legal tender in Qatar Qatar and on the back we have um, uh, Crested Lark Eurasian Bee Eater so it's Eurasian Bee Eater and Lesser Sand Plower so this is the actual sand plower so it's a Crested Lark and it's the Eurasian Bee Eater so even though I'm not too familiar with these birds uh, you can we do have uh, plowers in Australia, so they pretty much have similar design all around the world. And there's only two signatures for this banknote, but you know they're both the same uh, series. And you know you're probably paying about five dollars in uncirculated condition. You know, these three, I think I got for ten dollars, which is quite nice. And then we have the five reels. So this is roughly. Uh, one point sixty two dollars and this currency goes up to five hundred reels so this one obviously the face doesn't have any features uh, but it is quite a nice design banknote and on the back we have uh, the National Museum and we have some antelopes 
and a camel. And surprisingly, a lot of these camels do come from Australia. We have the largest wild population in the world. Um, a lot of the camels in Africa and Arabia have been domesticated. So it's quite a nice bank note to get. Uh, so you're talking about five to ten dollars in uncirculated. This one you're probably talking at least ten to fifteen dollars in uncirculated. So it has an exchange rate of about three to four dollars in Australia, not US dollars. You can see all these banknotes, the front of it, the design is the same, they're just a different colour. Okay, so and they have slightly different patterns on these banknotes. Even though they're still a quite nice series to actually get. So the only thing that you need to look up is the reverse of the banknote. And this has a doe on it. So traditional sailing boat of the Middle East. Probably been around since the Sumerian times. Uh, which is three to four thousand years ago. No, actually, they went extinct to four thousand years ago. So four to five thousand years ago. So this one is also one of the masterpieces of the Middle East. So those ones, the 1, 5 and 10. And the different thing that they don't have in common with Bahrain is that these ones all grade. So the size is different. The Bahrain banknotes are actually quite bigger, uh, but they're all the same size. And if you wanted to collect these uh, for Qatar, you'll be looking at forking out a small fortune because you also need to get the 50, 100, and 500 reels. 500 reels is over a hundred dollars, probably 160. So, to get an uncirculated banknote, that one probably like 250, I'd say. Uh, but not too many people would sell them because it's just too much money to keep tied up into your banknotes. And the last ones that we have are two banknotes from Iran. So the 5,000 reels, they are actually issued three different designs on the reverse. Now this is the first one from 1993. It has uh, Ayatollah Khomeini. But on the back, this one has flowers. And then you've got another one with pottery. And also, which they issued second, and the third one, actually the pottery they issued first, the, the second one they issued with satellites. But this is the best one, I believe, although I do like pottery, and uh, it's roughly about 30,000 reels, equals uh, one Australian dollar, so this pretty much has no values, worth about yeah, so 16 cents. Then we have the 10,000 reels. So this one has been replaced with a newer banknote in a 2017 green one. So you can probably get these still in circulation, uh, but I probably don't think you can. And as you can see, this one also has Ayatollah Khomeini. Uh, on the back we have uh, Mount Dhammavand, so that's a large mountain, and as you can see, looks pretty much like a volcano, probably a stratovolcano, I haven't looked it up, so it's quite high because it has uh, snow peaks, and the watermark is also uh, Mr. Kumani there, so this is worth, roughly worth about 30 cents, and they do issue a 5,000 reels uh, coin as well. So this pretty much is the, uh, should be the lowest banknote you can get in circulation. But they do issue banknotes down to uh, 100 reels. Although I doubt it very much that circulates widely because uh, it's really just not much value. So if you wanted to buy these in uncirculated condition, you're probably talking, yeah, three to five dollars uh, all day. If you go to eBay, you can't actually look up Iran because there is US sanctions against Iran and eBay follows them. Uh, so you need to look up, you know, like reels or 5,000 reels or something like that if you want Iranian banknotes. 
Anyway, these are new banknotes to my collection. Hopefully this helps you with your uh, banknotes and have awesome coin and banknote collecting time. I know this video is a bit long. Anyway, leave a comment on which banknote is your favourite. So anyway, thank you very much. Have awesome coin and banknote collecting time.